Hello everyone, it's Daz, and this week's discussion is over a story that I came across by NPR. I'll leave a link in the description box, but a shark by the name of Helen was smuggled from a San Antonio aquarium in broad daylight. And the three thieves, two men and one woman, hung around the aquarium for an hour before making their move, and they disguised themselves as personnel, took a net, got Helen out, and there was some contamination with the bleach that the workers were worried about, and Helen had to be put in quarantine when she was returned because the bucket she was put into did have some bleach in it as well. After the story went viral all over the news, people were quick to help identify who these people were, and they managed to snuggle her out in a baby stroller. When I hear stories like this, it does make me wonder how people are able to get away and do this in broad daylight and no one says a thing. There's many other stories like this where people are doing dirt, but no one says or seems to see anything. Maybe people are too distracted on their phones or busy talking and they didn't question it. There's also this idea within psychology that it's the bystander effect where many people see an individual doing something that may be wrong or they see someone in need, but they may think to themselves, wait a minute, if no one else is saying anything, then there's probably nothing wrong, or they probably don't need help, or if they needed help, wouldn't someone else do something? So being heroic in itself is its own bold mood to make. But getting back to the story, I wanted to share this because between 35,000 and 50,000 African elephants are poached a year. There are more tigers in American backyards than in the wild. Three rhinos are poached every day. More than one million pan Golins have been traded in the past 10 years. Approximately 28,300 freshwater turtles are traded each day. Around 30% of the Asian elephant population is in captivity. The illegal wildlife trade generates between $5 and $20 billion annually. It is the fourth most lucrative illegal trade in the world. Over the past 25 years, the wholesale price of ivory in China has risen from $5 to $2,100. And the tenth fact is over 1,000 rangers have been killed in the past 10 years. And the reason why they're killed off is because those who want these animals so bad actually kill them for the animals, which to me is insane. But I mean, illegal trade of anything is dangerous. It's bad. Whether you're talking about human trafficking, whether you're talking about sex trafficking, drug trafficking, or wildlife trafficking, it is an issue. And I think it's really sad that you see this. In this case, Helen was already in captivity and she was still taken by someone to be a pet. The uh, guy garage that they took Helen to actually had a collection of marine animals and she was the second type of shark of that kind that he had and we don't know if he smuggled the other marine life into his garage and that's how he had possession of them or if he bought them you do have to have quite a bit of money to buy an exotic animal but it is possible I'd like to know what you guys think about this story. Do you think that it's a little odd nobody saw anything or said anything? Do you think maybe they were overcome with the bystander effect? Also, what is your thoughts on wildlife trafficking and the issue of poaching and people buying exotic animals? Are you for or against it? Let me know what you think and I'll talk to you next week in next Wednesday's video or in the next Monday night live chat. Take care and God bless.